So the next bit in the framework is maha maha in our emotions. Yes, so within Te Ao Mara, where we're now kind of heading towards the end of the framework, maha maha, as you say, is about inner emotions. So once we kind of understand what are their needs, what kind of community supports do they have, or what we can uh, support them with, maha maha is about understanding the journey ahead. We kind of do that at the beginning with the understanding bit, but to actually engage with that therapy, whether it be talk uh, talk therapy, which is when exactly what um, Sione and I are doing at the moment, asking each other questions, or understanding what other kinds of therapies might be useful. So rongoa, so Māori healing is a great example. Midi midi, which is a form of touch therapy, could also be utilised as well. In that maha maha stage, it becomes really crucial to understand the, the varieties of services that, that you could provide to outstanding tour, for example, we do counselling, we do do rongoi, we do do midi midi, um, and then helping people to understand what's a, what, what the journey is going to be like. So for example, if, if, if I'm working with, uh, say, say a bro for example, I'm really clear that we're going to be talking about stuff that's probably going to be really triggering. Sometimes people will say to me that, that they might not be ready or that you can ask me anything you want, and then I might ask them a, a, a question like, uh, tell me the first time that you were sexually abused. Not necessarily in the first session, but you know, as we're building relationships, because sometimes people want to avoid it, just talk about the weather, talk about the day, but if we're here to talk about, say, sexual harm, or being sexually harmed in childhood, then I might ask that question, and that question can be, can elicit all kinds of raw intense emotions and so in in te ao marama, it's really important to understand if people do say like emotional outbursts you know what they're doing is connecting with that inner trauma um i often talk about the inner child as well so sometimes a lot of the people that i work with revert back to how old they were when they were initially abused and um as practitioners in that emotional part it's actually pretty central to ensure that we're looking after people's emotional well-beings because for all intents and purposes you're taking off lots of traumas so you're taking off people's armor and then looking at them in their vulnerability and then what they're doing you think of that te marama stuff they're looking at you to say are you judging me are you going to be the right person to be able to hold this this is that te kore stuff and then as they're talking to you about their emotions, what they're saying is, look, you know, you, you better not let me down. This is the subconscious stuff. You know, you can tell through their body language, you know. Um, this is an opportunity for me to find a way forward, and I just hope that you're the right kind of person. So that's that te kore kore stuff. In that understanding stage, what they're also doing is they're starting to learn about why do they do the things that they do? Why is it that they lose their temper? Why is it that they eat? Why is it that they smoke? As, as examples, right? All these little things. Um, and then they might figure out, you know, who was the community that harmed them? What, who was the community that didn't believe them? Because often people do disclose and they're not believed initially. You know, looking at, looking at it from Te Marama. And then the emotions are, what can we do as practitioners to be able to hold your emotions in place and acknowledge that this is what's happened to you? And from our perspective, that we have a duty of care that your emotional wellness is, is absolutely critical to, to not only finding a way forward, but also being able to kind of make sense of something that's often senseless and then being able to, to find some kind of meaning that you can then be able to find a way forward.